Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul. I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday because I haven't been there in a while, and I was looking for some stuff for my garden because I've been kind of obsessed with like flowers, like a flower garden this year. Usually I do fruits, veggies, that kind of stuff, and herbs, and I did plant those. Like I, I still planted those, but I want to have flower gardens all over the place. I have a hair stuck to my eyelash, probably like from the bunny. And every single time I blink, I can feel it in my eye and I can't find it when I go look for it. So if I keep touching my eye, I'm sorry. And if I keep looking at myself, I apologize too. I'm using my iPhone to film. It's just the easiest. And I'm on my bed. I decided to film on my bed today because it's more comfortable and I don't have to go downstairs. First of all, I am obsessed with these. You guys, these are so good. These are the pita thins. So you know how like pita chips, I like to dip them in hummus and um, like eat them with cheese and stuff but they're kind of hard. They're like just a hard, crunchy, thick chip. These are thins. They're really thin. They're crispy. They're delicious. They're a little flaky. I love them. I just eat them plain, but I, I will dip them in stuff. I love to dip everything, but I will eat those plain. And I've been just obsessed with them. All right. So first of all, I just want to say hi to you guys. I'm sorry. I haven't been filming much. I, I've been talking about this on my memberships because I, if you guys don't know, I do have member. Oh my God, this hair in my eye. I do have memberships and on my memberships I post a vlog or not a vlog but I post vlogs on there and I give like little life updates. Things are changing in my life just like little things here and there and um so there's just been a lot of stuff going on but I do share a lot of that on my on my memberships for you guys so if you guys want to be a member the link is in my description box. So I just want to see how you guys are doing, what's new, anything going on that's new and interesting in your lives. How are your kids? How is your partner? How is your job? How's your pets? Let me know. I'm filming. I don't want, oh my God, hold on. Sorry. Um, I don't know if I got it out, but my eyes all red now. So, okay. So I just want to check in with you guys, see how you guys are doing. I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing with my channel. I haven't figured it out, but... I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Dollar Tree. So the first two things are these. These are cute little journals. They're so cute. They're wide, wide ruled paper, but I thought these would be really cute for my kids. Um, one says, let the sun in, and it has um, stickers. These are stickers right here, and it's just a pink, a pink journal. And then this one is so cute. It's 60 sheets of wide ruled paper um, like that. And it's just pretty. It says good thoughts on it. So I'm going to give each one to my kids. They love to write or doodle, you know. Kids love being kids. Um, let's do the garden. No, actually, let's do the summer, like, flip-flops. So every year, my kids and I go through flip-flops like crazy. Unless you get, like, a really nice pair. My kids are, we're either at the beach or we're in the pool or we're outside in the grass, like, running around and my kids would rather be barefoot, but I don't like them being barefoot. So I always get them flip flops from the Dollar Tree, always, every year. So I got these right here. Uh, they last okay. You know what I like to do? This is a trick for you guys if you don't know. If you get flip flops and they always break, a trick for you guys is, you know how you get tags on bread? Hold on, let me get one. This is gonna sound really funny and you guys are gonna be like, why don't you just buy better flip-flops? Well, the Dollar Tree is amazing. These are $1.25 right here. Look how cute. Patterns are cute. So I take these right here. They're little bread tags that come on your bread. And what I do is I pop this out just a little bit. And I go like that. <laughs> and then the button doesn't keep pulling through. And I so I save these every summer. And I do that for each of my girls' flip-flops because... It's the front part that always falls out first. And you have to keep putting it back in. And once you put it in too many times, <laughs> they do get worn out. But when you have the tags from the bread, they don't pull through. Isn't that amazing? Such a great hack. Anyway, so I got these two pairs of flip-flops. 
and this pair right here. I'll put the bread tags on there later. And I got those notebooks that I showed you. Okay, I got two hummingbird feeders because I live by the shore and it gets pretty windy around here in the summer, any time of the year, but especially during the summer, the spring and summer. And my bird feeders are always flying all over the place. They really are. So I picked up two baby hummingbird feeders. I'll place one on my back. Um, it's like a back, it's not a porch, but it's, I put, I'll put one by my back door, my sliding glass door, so we can watch the hummingbirds. I'll put it on the, the table out there. And then I'll hang one of these on my little hangers that I have out back. I have like a stake with little hooks. So I'll hang one out there, but these are perfect. If they fall and break, they were only $1.25. I can go get another one. I do have other ones that are glass, but I'm telling you, they break every year from being like tossed by the wind. And like, I could go to sleep at night and it'll be calm and I'll wake up in the morning and it'll be like 60 miles per hour wind. And I'm like, there goes my hummingbird feeder. So I got these. Um, let's do the stuff for my garden. So I got these two cute little mushrooms. Now I will say, sometimes I watch Dollar Tree hauls and they're like screaming about how great some things are. And I'm usually like, come on, we all have been to the Dollar Tree. We know that some of the stuff that you guys are getting is not going to last more than six weeks in your house, if that. But these right here are really well made. These are really nice. They're just some sort of pottery and they're really cute. They do have a hole at the bottom, but this one has a, a sticker. So I'm going to put these right by my front steps in my front yard. Like when you go up the stairs to go to onto my front porch, I'm going to put these right by the steps in the, on the dirt. And I also have a few other things. My daughter likes to do like little fairy gardens and um, she's a little bit older now. So she doesn't want like baby fairy garden stuff, but she wants like cute little things. So I got these for my gardens. I'm very excited about these. They're really cute. And like I said, they're really well made. They're just some sort of pottery and they're pretty, they have some weight to them, which is nice. So they won't be like flying all over the place. I got some stuff for my flower. Okay, first of all, I got some stuff for my flower gardens. Um, I got these right here. I got two pairs because I know within the first week of using these, one of these will have a hole. It's just how it is. Um, these aren't made for like rough garden work, but they're, they're not bad. So they have that like plasticky feeling. So uh, they're not cloth. Like this part is cloth, but the actual hands is not. So if you wanted to use your phone and you need to swipe, you can still swipe with these. And then I got this pair right here. Just simple garden gloves that I can use for a little bit and then toss once they get gross. I got this because I'm always wondering what the temperature is. And I've always wanted a thermometer. I don't know why. I don't know why I wanted a thermometer, but I always wanted one and it's right here. I just thought it was pretty and I'm going to hang it up by my vegetable garden. See if it actually works. I don't know if it will, but hopefully it does. But look, isn't that cute? It's so pretty. I just thought it was so pretty. I just thought it was cute. So we'll see how hot it gets. Right now it says 68. Okay. Then I got some more hooks. Right here, I got some hooks for my shepherd's hooks outside. I like to, I have like big, tall shepherd hooks. So what I like to do is like hang some of my feeders on there. I just got a new, well, it's not here yet, but I ordered a new bird feeder. It's a solar bird feeder for actual seed. It's metal, it's got a solar top. So at night it glows, but during the day, it's just a regular bird feeder. And um, I'll hang it on one of these, but it's really, really cool. Can't wait to use it. Then I also bought some of the plant clips. These are really good for tomato plants or for cucumbers or any plant that needs to be clipped onto like a trellis or anything that like a tomato cage so they don't break. So I got a bunch of these. There's actually quite a few in here. There's 20 of them and they have two, they have two different sizes. So they have the smaller clips and then they have the larger clips right here. I've never seen them in my Dollar Tree, so I was very excited. Um, I got a pair of needle point pruners. These are really good for tomato plants, cucumber plants, um, flowers, anything like that that you need to cut, you need to cut like little leaves off of with. And I don't have a pair, so I was really glad to get these. I don't know if they're gonna work great, but we'll see. The last time I got a pair of like shears from the Dollar Tree, they fell they fell apart within the first time I was using them. Okay, so then I wanna show you guys these. These are so, so cool. I've never seen them before. I'm super excited to try them. These are called flower rockets and 
They have over 500 seeds. It's a never ending bouquet, continuous blooming all summer long, and you can put them indoors. I like to put these outside, well, not that I like to, but I like to have flower pots on my front porch or on my back porch or you know anywhere around outside during the, the spring and summer. And these, I'm gonna plant in little planters, but look how cool these are. They're so, so cute. Now these are annuals, and we have the flowers that are in this one right here. So this is called the Flower Summer Bouquet. It has baby's, baby's Breath, Candelula Fancy Mix, Cornflower Perennial Lupine, California Giant Cosmo Sensation, Perennial Gillardia, Tree Mallow, Mexican Hat, Clasping Coneflower, Glow, uh, some sort of daisy, a corcop a corcopis, <laughs> a rocket lark spur, a purple coneflower, Shasta daisy, poppy bishop's flower, and a something with a G, Gotia. So I'm really excited to try these. I, I've seen a few of the flowers that I've said in there, but I haven't seen some of them. And then this one right here, same thing, you plant them in a, in a pot and then they bloom all summer. And it says that this has annuals, baby breath, candy, tuft, scarlet flax, corn poppy, bird's eye, Chinese pink, catch fly, dwarf California poppy, globe gilia, spurred snapdragon, wild petunia, sweet alisum, black eyed Susan, plains corcopis, corcopis, and dwarf petunia. So isn't that really cool? I'm so excited about these because I've never seen these before. I'm super excited about them. I keep having to get up because it's windy out. I keep hearing stuff, but it's just wind. Okay, then I bought these two, these two right here to plant the flowers in. I think they're deep enough. I'm not sure, but they do have little holes that you can poke out for the bottom to let the water drain. And I thought that these, I mean, they're not bad. If I wanted to, I could paint them, but I'll probably just leave them as is. And I'm gonna put my flower rockets in there. So I'll show you guys throughout the summer if it actually works, if these actually have a ton of flowers all summer. And then I found some bulbs. So I found the gladiolas right here and you get three bulbs. I actually picked two colors. So I have the yellow and the red. So there's six bulbs here. I really like these flowers. They'll come back next year as long as the squirrels don't eat them. So I got some of these. And then I picked up um, two more bulbs. And these are the freesia. Right here, these are freesia flowers. These are super pretty. And then I found the, uh, I don't know what these are, anemone. <laughs> and they each have three bulbs in them as well. So I have some of these. And then I found these, these are super cool. So these are Impatience, they're mixed colors, and these actually are, so there's, uh, you just apply water and that's all you do, but I believe they're like a mat. Oh, actually, I wanted to open one of these. Wanna open one of these and see what it looks like? Let's see. Okay, so it's just like this. I don't know if you can see it, but there's just like this mat in there and you just stick it in the dirt and plant it. So that's cool. Um, these two, I think are like mats. Let's see. Oh no, damn. These are just tons of seeds in there. Holy shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse, but look, that's a lot of seeds. So I have a wild, flower blend, a bird and butterfly blend right here. I just planted a whole wild flower garden in my backyard for the butterflies and hummingbirds. So I'm super excited about that. But now I have more. And then I got the wildflower sunny area blend. And I also got the wildflower hummingbird. So I got a whole bunch of different seeds. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have so many flowers by my house. I'm so excited. Okay, so that's all my gardening stuff. And then let's get down to some kind of beauty related stuff. So I got one of these. I actually really like picking these up at the Dollar Tree. I will say that they do fall apart fairly fast. Mine just fell apart and I think I had it for like 
I don't know, a month. So I did pick up another one. I know I should probably just buy one that's really good, but it's just so much easier to buy one at the Dollar Tree. So I got one of these. I like that it's two-toned. Then I got some hand soap right here. And then I also picked up a big hand soap to refill these because we go off, no, we go off. We run out of hand soap all the damn time. My kids are always washing their hands. My daughter, Dahlia, like she tends to wash her hands every single time she touches something. So we're continuously running out of um, hand soap. But I just got the vanilla honey and the coconut water and mango. I like dial soap. I don't think they're bad. Um, let's see. I got two washcloths because I'm always running out of washcloths for real, always. And I always wash my face with a washcloth. I think I'm the only one in the world that still does. I wash my, I take all my makeup off and then I'll, or with, I'll take my makeup off with either my cellar water or makeup wipes or a balm. And then I wash my face and then I go in with like a toner or something. But I always use a washcloth and I'm always ruining my washcloths. Literally there's either bleach on them, there's holes in them. So I always pick up extras. Uh, what else? I got some of these Pond's Purify and Refresh. They're makeup remover wipes and I figured I would just try them because they were there and I just wanted to try them. I needed some. I picked up a chapstick. I use this. I like Blistex chapstick, but I did. No, 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 not Blistex. Um, what is it called? I forget. Cardamax. Is that a word? Cardamax? Maybe. One of those. But I do like these as well. My my lips always need some sort of chapstick. They're like parched, even thinking about not having it. I picked up a Remy Rose Beauty Blender. I saw a bunch of Remy Rose products in my Dollar Tree. I've never seen Remy Rose products before. I don't even know who she is, but I figured I'd try her Beauty Blender. And, oh, it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel bad. It kind of reminds me of the Real Techniques Beauty Blender but it doesn't, it, there's no scent to it either, but it, it's not bad actually. I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but it doesn't feel bad. It's, it's quite dense, but it does have some squish to it. So I'll definitely try it. Um, of course I will, I bought it. Then I found this essentially ageless blush and it's a luminizing blush and it's infused with Camila oil. It has, and it's paraben and phthalates free. It's by Bi Pure, but the shade of this is in the shade Dahlia. So I had to get it. It's, I've never ever seen this company in the Dollar Tree before, so I figured might as well try it. I love blush. Blush is always something that I grab for. Even like if I just have mascara and brows on, I'll put some blush on my cheeks just to make me look a little bit more alive. So there's the shade. And there it is on my finger. Not bad. And I'm not used to using my phone when I film. So there it is. Not bad at all. This is really pretty. I'm very excited about this. I don't see much of a shimmer. It kind of looks like a matte shade to me, but I'll try it. Let you guys know. And the last but not least is this. You guys, when I saw this, I was like, it just says blush on here. And on the back, it says blush too. There wasn't any kind of information about like who the, the company was. It says this repackaged product has not been packaged under license from Cotty US LLC. So they repackage this. And then I looked at it and it's by Rimmel. It's a Rimmel, it says blush, but it's not. It's a bronzer. It's a jelly bronzer. And I was like, oh, they have Rimmel in the store now? Why didn't they have like regular Rimmel packaging? I'm not understanding, but I did get it because I've never tried Rimmel jelly bronzer. Have you? Have you ever tried their jelly bronzer? Let me know if you have. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to open it. So this is what it looks like. And I'm not like huge on... Um, I'm not huge on cream products, but I was like, jelly bronzer, that sounds really cool. So let's try it. It is, so there is the bronzer. It's a mess, so. Oh, it does feel like jelly. Okay, hold on. I spent seven minutes of this video in the beginning trying to get a hair out of my eye. So now I am spending the rest of the time trying to get a jelly bronzer out. Okay, so there's the bronzer. And it's kind of like, I mean, it looks like jelly. Okay, so I have some on my finger. 
Oh. It's matte. It's definitely matte. It's kind of like paint, if, if I do say so myself. Let's rub it in, see what happens. Not like matte, my husband, but like matte. The sh it's like a, it's not shimmery, it's flat. Not bad. I'll definitely try it. Why not, right? Let me try it. I'll try it and I'll let you guys know how it is. All right, guys, that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are doing really good. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see the flowers in action, let me know. I will definitely, you know, show you guys anything to do with the flowers. And that is it. I'm sorry I haven't been around much. I'm trying to figure out my channel, guys. I don't know what I want to do. I'm kind of bored of unboxings, to be honest. I only get a few. I get Ipsy and Allure and a box. No, box charm is gone. So Ipsy Allure Glow Addict, which I keep forgetting to <laughs> cancel, as you guys know. And glossy box maybe so I don't get very many boxes anymore but I'm just not like super excited about them anymore so if there's anything you guys would like to see let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to get some of those videos done I do have a lot of stuff I want to talk about I just I don't know I just sometimes feel like you guys might not be interested it's why I go live and just chat with you guys but okay I hope you guys are doing really good let me know what's new and exciting in your lives I've missed you guys so much and I love you guys and if you want to just do some chatty videos let me know too I'll also let you know how any of this stuff works so if there's something in here that I have talked about and you're curious about it I will let you know also pick yourself up a thermometer they have a whole bunch of different patterns and this was just the one that I thought was the prettiest but there are some really pretty ones there so all right, guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget, check out my memberships if you would like to see some of my vlogs and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I love you guys so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.